Hey there everyone, and welcome to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial by Aurora Gameworks. In today's tutorial we're going to be taking a look at the save and loading uh, within uh, Blueprint so that we can store uh, certain variable info uh, between um, starting and stopping a play session. For our example, I have created some score items where the character will overlap a cube mesh and it will increment a current items collected variable that I've made. I've also got a widget that will display the number for us and of course inside the character blueprint we have the current item saved right here. The first thing that we need to do is go to our content browser right click blueprint class and under all classes type in save and get save game select and let's call this uh, save blueprint let's open that up variables change this to an integer to match the variable that we're wanting to store and let's call it well, saved collected amount, something like that. Let's compile and save that. In our third person character blueprint, off event begin play, just after our little thing here that I've done for the widget, we want to get does save game exist. In the name slot you can really have anything here um, you could create a string variable where the player can input their own slot name or you can just make the slot name anything you want just for this example let's do file a and then we want to branch this if the save game does not exist we want to make sure that our current items collected has been set to zero just to make sure that our items collected counter is uh, reset to its default uh, on first boot up but if the save game does exist we want to load game from slot and make sure that the slot name string is the same right click off return value let's call this uh, save variable and then we can cast this to our save blueprint so now that we have access to as our save blueprint we can get the variable that we've just made the saved collected amount and use that to set our current items collected so that this stored value that gets updated um, every time we save the game uh, we, we can then set what our items are on event begin play so that it's there and set up just to make sure that this code is all working when we do our test let's add a print here And let's just type in load done. Make sure to compile and save as we go along. Now down here I'm just going to bind it to the one key on the keyboard but you can set this with anything. You could set it for a trigger box inside the level or you could have an autosave feature where it runs on a, on a timer loop for every five minutes or so. Uh, but just for this example I'm going to bind it to the number one key. So to get our saving all sorted, first thing we're going to do is does save game exist, just like with the other one. File A, branch, let's give ourselves some more room. Off of false, which means that the save does not exist, usually that means it's on the first uh, boot up of the game and the game hasn't had a chance to save yet. 
let's create a save game object and make sure that the save game class is the same as the one that we're using all throughout our save game blueprint and then we can set our save variable and cast then we can get our current items collected they've collected uh, from playing the game picking up the items and then on the save we can then set the saved collected amount just like that so now that we've done that um, we we haven't actually saved anything yet because all this has done has is just created the save game object to actually save it we're gonna have to drag off the last pin save game to slot and use our save variable I'm gonna make sure that the slot name is the same all throughout and just to make sure that this worked let's do print string saved and for this the, and for this branch here where it says true it's basically just the same as all of this but we only have to get the end here we don't have to create a save game object because if it's running off of true that means it's already been created so we can get these pins up and then with our object here we can just get our save variable and compile and save I like clicking on save all here it just makes it easy make sure you know that everything is saved so now with all the blueprint code done we can go into our little example map here click play and on the bottom right you see we have a counter of zero um, I'll quickly I'll actually show you what I've done with the tutorial widget just just in case you don't know anything about widget bindings yet um, under text here in content I've created a binding here where all it does is uh, casts to our character it gets that current items collected variable and it just converts it into a, a text format for us to view on the screen but anyways we go into our little example map and it says zero as we're collecting these the number obviously goes up as we collect but then what if what if I don't press the one key and we just escape and come back nothing's happened you know like this the, it's still at zero and um, you know we don't want that we want it to actually save our progress as we go along so I'm gonna collect these again and I'm gonna press one On the top left it's just said save that's cool let's escape out of that and press alt P so now we've gone back into the game again started up again and we are at 14 so what if I collect just these five 19 press the one key to save come back it says 19 so uh, I hope this tutorial has been useful for you guys uh, if this has helped you make sure to uh, like and leave comments uh, asking any questions uh, if you need any answered um, with that being said yeah um, stick around we've got more videos coming out and also some future videos on our own game projects that we're making so um, hope you enjoyed thank you for watching everyone